Hey there, fellow hungry travelers. Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're in Seattle, Washington, eating away and enjoying our time here. And today what we have for you are five things that you should eat when you come here to Seattle. And I'll be honest, there's a lot more than five things you should eat. So I'm gonna put a lot of stuff into these five. But just know, you will not go away unsatisfied when you eat here in Seattle. The first thing you need to know is the biggest thing you gotta have when you come here to eat is the seafood yes salmon we've had amazing halibut the oysters here oh my gosh if you go to the market you can see oysters as big as your hand i mean it is amazing scallops the the dungeness uh crab oh my god we have dungeness crab on an eggs benedict this morning oh my god with the holiday sauce it was so good you will eat seafood out of the wazoo and enjoy every bite of it. So make sure you're going out and you're going to seafood places. And there's tons of them around town, so you're not gonna have any problem finding them. You're just gonna end up a problem making sure you order every great thing that you wanna have. And one of the places I suggest you go to see some of that really good seafood is go to Pike Place Market. When you go there, you'll see the guys throwing the fish and stuff like that, but you're gonna see fresh fish, like insanely fresh fish, insanely fresh crab. Oh my gosh, the scallops there, I'm like, so that's what scallops look like in real life. I mean, it's amazing the stuff you'll see there. And you're like, oh, it looks so good. And it'll be so tasty because it'll be in some restaurant later that day for you to eat. So definitely go there and try some of the stuff. You will eat well. And I will say, the second thing you have to eat is one specific dish. And that is make sure you have some clam chowder. Or you can have seafood chowder. Either one, I just prefer the clam chowder. My buddy Jeff, he's all about the seafood chowder, but it is amazing. I know I said number one, seafood. Well, listen to, it's the soup you need to have. And honestly, if you're going to um, Ivers, you can get the, the, the clam chowder there, the seafood chowder there. You go to the, the Pike Place chowder, you can have that near the, near the market. There's so many great places to eat and have it, but make sure you have it, okay? Third thing, we'll move away from the fish and go into something that we're not really sure what's inside, and those are hot dogs. The third thing you should have when you come here is a Seattle dog. And a Seattle dog, when you can find one, is basically a hot dog. Well, it's a hot dog. And what they do is they put sour cream on the sides, and then they grow some vegetables and put it on top, and you eat that. I mean, hey, I mean, who can go wrong with sour cream? And who can go wrong with hot dogs? Put it together, sure we'll have some vegetables to be healthy, but that's another really good thing to have when you are here. Now, the fourth thing to have when you come here is Asian food. There are so many great Asian places around town. And yes, it is the sushi is amazing. The Chinese is amazing. The teriyaki, Seattle teriyaki, oh my God, it is so good. Korean food, I mean, there's Thai food. There's so many options you have for Asian food. You come here, and it's not just traditional Asian food, it's also like fusion food, and Asian fusion, but other kind of fusion foods. I mean, with the seafood and stuff like that. Yesterday, we had tater tots that had crab and shrimp in them, and oh my God, it was so good. So make sure, have any kind of fusion food, but go for the Asian food when you are here. It is, it is to die for. Now, when you are here, you're probably gonna get thirsty. So the fifth thing I have for you are the drinks. Now, one thing you should know is the craft beer here, there's a lot of craft beer and it's actually pretty good. I mean, honestly, we found the craft beer here better than in Vancouver. So I know that's gonna cause some trouble with some people, but we just found it pretty dang tasty here. You're gonna have a good drink when you are here. There's tons of bars and restaurants and pubs to enjoy the local beer. So do go out and have some, whether it's anywhere from Washington or the Pacific Northwest, you'll be okay. Um, if you wanna have a non-alcoholic thing, there's also Rachel's ginger beer that you can have, and it comes in a lot of different flavors. Now, most people, when they think of ginger beer, they think, oh, it's like a strong ginger ale. Well, yes, but these ones are flavored with lemon or strawberry or something like that. It can be an acquired taste, but it is something you do have when you are here, okay? And then I guess I should give you some treats to finish off with a little bonus. One thing, if you can get donuts when you're here, yes, at Pike Place Market, you can go around and there'll be people making fresh donuts there. That's been my go-to thing. Or you can go to a place like Top Pot and get donuts there, but you'll see tons and tons of like fancy donuts here, which sounds silly to say when I say, oh, go get donuts. But the thing is, the donuts here, I mean, it's not Dunkin', okay? I mean, it's way better than that, all right? They're really good. So make sure you check out one of the donut places and get some of that for a little tasty treat. Now, I just want to add on a couple things to the tasty stuff that we have here. I know the gum wall is not tasty. Don't chew that gum, okay? Just leave it there. It's kind of gross. But one thing is, is that when you're looking at the sweets we were talking about, also, if you're here when it's berry season, blueberries, blackberries, stuff like that, apple season too, if you're here at those times, 
definitely grab a pie or something like that because there's a lot of really good pastry shops here. So grab something like that. If you can get some with those fruits in there, man, that stuff is awesome. But when it's in season, that's the best. Another thing is to go back to the drink side of it. I can't believe I forgot to mention the wine here. Washington wine is actually pretty good. I'd recommend staying with the white wines, but they are tasty. And the thing is you can go to vineyards around here. So if you're in Seattle and you're looking for something to do for a day trip, go check out some vineyards, go hiking and check out vineyards, go drink and check out vineyards. There's a lot of stuff there, okay? So we'll go back and finish off where we were because honestly, taking pictures of this wall is kind of making me want to throw up. <laughs> And also grab some ice cream. I've seen tons and tons of handmade ice cream places around the city. Go and enjoy some. I know Molly Moons is a popular one that's here. I haven't got to it yet, but I know it's supposed to be pretty good. But the gelato that I've had around town has been great anyway. So have some of that to enjoy yourself. Anyway, I know there's just five quick little things to check out and eat, or six actually. Eat or drink when you do come here to Seattle. It is a fun town, amazing architecture, really cool stuff to see and do. The nature, oh my goodness, it's amazing when you are here. If you want to learn more, five things you'll love and hate about coming here to Seattle, maybe you're going up to Vancouver, we've got the don'ts of Vancouver, all kinds of stuff for you to enjoy, all on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions, and if you like eating like we do, click that subscribe button and you get new travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday, okay? Because you need to watch something while you eat. So why not watch us? <laughs> Bye from Seattle.